What does it take to be a good sushi chef? Good knife skills are at the top of the list. Like many other talents, it takes years of practice. Phenomenal. I once did a, class, a cooking class, a knife cooking class, and it is hard. Some flair and showmanship behind the counter doesn't hurt either. If we're doing a, a Japanese cutting technique called katsudamuki, where you kind of turn a vegetable in your hand with your knife, you, you hold it up a little bit higher to show off a little bit. So. <laughs> Elon Wenzel and fellow Colorado chefs put those skills on display recently during an event benefiting Ukrainian refugees. I'm an immigrant too, and I, ho I know how hard it is to go in a different place where you're not belong or you're not been there before. And, and you want people to help come and, and, and help you. I have roots out of Ukraine, and it's just awful. So we wanted to do something, anything. Conflict in Ukraine has struck a nerve with many in the global restaurant industry. We do food, and we do water, and that's what we do in emergencies. World Central Kitchen, a nonprofit founded by world famous chef Jose Andres, has fed countless people after natural disasters. Everybody comes and they help in a organized chaos that works amazingly. It's already provided more than four million meals to Ukrainians who've been driven out of their homes. I cannot believe we are in the middle of a refugee crisis created by a war that should not be happening. Man, this breaks your heart. He's a big inspiration for us. This guy is, is changing the world, uh, I mean, through food, which is is a dream of all of us, right? Chef Jesus Silva helped organize this buffet of auctions, raffles, and competitions, which also included a pig butchering demonstration. More than showcasing their abilities, chefs are born to serve. They're lovers and they're entrepreneurs and they, they give back. Their whole philosophy is, is, is making somebody feel good. We are in the service industry, right? We service. We are the people who like to serve. We want to be there for the people who need it. Like a last-minute meal, the fundraiser was thrown together in just a couple of weeks and ended up raising more than $21,000, which will go directly to World Central Kitchen. Everyone's looking for ways that they can give back and to do something in a unique way. At a time of great suffering and deprivation. One day you have everything you need, and just out of nowhere the next day you have nothing nothing to eat. Foodies half a world away are bringing what they can to the table as part of the massive Ukrainian relief effort. The most basic things they need is food. As a chef, that's how we can help. That's the only way we can help. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.